I too, I'm happy that Jeanette McCurdy's mom died. And I don't even think I have the right to say that, so. We all know Jeanette McCurdy's new book came out. I'm glad my mom died. Very good book. You 100% should read it. Don't torrent it, okay? Actually go and pay for it. Thank you. She deserves every last cent that she didn't make off of that $300,000 of hush money. So when I finished the book, I knew that I had to talk about it because I had so many feelings and emotions. And I also was so extremely sad that it was over. And I was like, I need to prolong this and continue talking about it because I'm just so distraught. And I think Jeanette, without even realizing it, has begged so many questions that we now need to ask ourselves as a society. I think she opens up a lot of conversations from here on out that we definitely need to address and one of my biggest thoughts throughout the book are holy shit i relate a little bit too much to jeanette mccurdy and i wasn't even a child star so and also i was thinking about the fact that i don't even know if child stars should even be allowed to exist i'm not saying like wipe them out and completely you know make them extinct and you know categorize all of them that's not what i'm saying is it something that we need and if they do exist under what circumstances and should children even be famous under any circumstances at all while reading jeanette's book you're made to be so uncomfortable on purpose to the point where you're like reading some of the scenes that she's been pretty open about like for example her mom showering her until she was like 16 or some of the situations that she's put in with the creator who we now all know is Dan Schneider. These are uncomfortable moments that you like find yourself cringing at, but you know they're so important to read because her story is so incredibly important. And I wish that a lot of troubled stars had written books like this. Like I have read my fair share of like YouTuber celebrity books and everything, and none of them even compare probably because they were all written by ghostwriters but that's a completely other story miley cyrus like wrote an entire book and i remember being like this is the juiciest little dick ever and like it's supposed to be like this inside scoop kind of book but like the juiciest that we ever got was her talking about her relationship with nick jonas and like that didn't even cut that deep you know what i mean i was such a huge fan of iCarly growing up i even had like my little iCarly phase last summer when the reboot came out and I spent like a whole week straight just watching it and then analysis videos on the iCarly reboot, like episode by episode. Like I was very much so obsessed with it. And now I can't even watch the show the same, which is good in a sense because it makes you think that maybe we should be watching all of our media critically and consuming it all very critically. Because if we actually knew the way that so many celebrities are being treated, let alone child stars are being treated in the content that we watch, would we watch it? And I know some of you will answer, yes, I would still watch it. You're the problem. Like for example, I think of Disney World. <laughs> I remember Chipotle was my Disney World. Okay, I'll, I'll get back into the Disney thing. But Chipotle was my Disney World in the sense of like, it looked so perfect. It was beautiful. I fucking love their food. Like Chipotle could do no wrong in my head until I started working at Chipotle and it completely ruined the magic for me. Disney World is the same way that like, once you get older and you know like any of the secrets about Disney World, like it, Walt Disney's head is like in the basement. They don't let people die on Disney like campus. Like they will move you out of the campus before you die so that they can't say that anyone died at Disney World. Anyway, the magic gets lost. Like the Disney magic just gets lost. And then there's Disney adults who like, you know, never find out about these secrets or they do and they look past it, but I'm not, I'm not gonna talk about Disney adults. I had a professor once who, <laughs> who told us, he was like, yes, I'm a Disney adult. I'm allowed to be. My mom died when I was young, so I'm allowed to hold on to my childhood any way that I want. Once I found out that some of my favorite brands were like fast fashion and that it's actually run by child labor, I didn't want to shop at these places anymore and that deterred me from shopping at most of my favorite stores. And I think that this book has opened up the fact that so many stars are treated so poorly and terribly and are forced to provide for their families from such a young age that it makes me not want to watch anything with children under the age of 18, which is ironic because I just did three videos about Stranger Things where like all the kids are like tiny baby infant children kind of things. Jeanette in the book talks about how she was forced to become an actress at a young age because that was always her mother's dream. Dad, I'm not letting go of my dream to be a baseball player. 
I'm getting rid of your dream. And it makes you think how many of these children are actually providing for their families without any of us even knowing about it because I'm pretty sure we never, never struck Jeanette McCurdy until she became open about like some of the trauma that she faced as a child star. We had no idea like what she was going through. Jeanette McCurdy refers to this man called the creator in her book. Uh, which we all know is Dan Schneider. He was terrible to her, forced her to do things that she did not want to do, was horrible with the way that he treated others, was even like on a sort of probation because of how awful he treated some of the children. And that kind of behavior is still happening to this day. Like just because it's not happening to Jeanette anymore, that doesn't mean that these children are not still being treated like this. And how many people are still quiet because they have either signed NDAs or underneath hush money, et cetera, et cetera. And it furthers my question of should child stars even exist? I think in the future, whether that's near or far, we're gonna see a lot more books, like a tell-all, just like Jeanette's, either being inspired by her, or maybe because these kids are finally old enough to speak, speak their truth. And I think especially where it's gonna come from the most is children of social media. Because I think a lot of these kids are currently suffering or will suffer a lot of the same things that Jeanette McCurdy had struggled with. For example, eating disorders, the pressures of parents in their lives, horrible producers and networks who do not care for the kids and just care about the money. My immediate reaction is to say that someone like Charlie D'Amelio will definitely be one of the first to come forth and say how much she struggled with an eating disorder because that's something that she's come forth and said that she has struggled with, especially with social media being so cruel to her. And then also how her parents may have treated her and management just because even on her show, which I did watch, it was a rough summer last summer, okay, for content. But there's like this whole clip of where management has like all of these folders sprawled out and they're like, yeah, every single month is basically filled up and she had no time for herself. And she was like a 16, 17 year old girl. Not to mention potentially how her family may have been controlling the situation. Anyway, my immediate thought is like, oh my God, definitely one of those girls will have a tell-all book someday of all the struggles that they face because even though their life looks so perfect, it may appear like their life is so glamorous and they're like the top head honchos right now, but like in reality, you know for a fact that those girls are struggling. But at the same time, we cannot predict who are the ones that are actually really struggling and going through it because there are amazing actors such as Jeanette McCurdy, who acted her entire life as if everything was perfect and okay. And uh, she is the last person I would have ever expected to have gone through such awful abuse and trauma because she was just so fucking good at hiding it. I mean, even in her book, she explained that her and Miranda like confided in Miranda Cosgrove, if you guys don't know. I like wrote fan mail to Miranda Cosgrove as a child. Like I was a huge Miranda Cosgrove stan. Major. I still am. But anyway, she not even said that in her book that Miranda and her confided in each other because of mutual family struggles and also strict management and issues with work. And of course, it's not Jeanette's story to tell what Miranda went through, but she kind of hinted at that Miranda went through her own set of issues. But, you know, she's a bit more quiet about them and she's also still under like iCarly contract and. We don't know the full truth of anything. And we have no idea how bad someone like Miranda Cosgrove has truly struggled because she just hasn't been as open about it as Jeanette has. But at the same time, most stars aren't that open about it. So that's just to say that we have no idea what child stars are currently really struggling and going through it and will one day have a tell-all book and will never be expecting it because they were able to hide the abuse that they went through so incredibly well, which they should not have to do in the first place. There's always gonna be children roles in the media. There's always gonna be child actors needed. There's always gonna be shows where the lead character is someone under the age of 18. Like that's inevitable. And I'm not saying like we should abolish all acting roles underneath the age of 18. But I think, especially to be any type of celebrity, whether that's music or acting or just being in the entertainment business in general, I think it should be at a point where that child is able to give consent and should also be one of the first to explain that they have interests in 
said career and it not have anything to do with their parents and they should definitely be way more protected than they are being currently. It's so incredibly sad to read the book knowing that Jeanette McCurdy's dream was never to act. She loved writing so much since she was a kid, but because it was her mom's dream for her to be an actress, that's what she had to do. It makes me sad thinking about that there's probably shows that I watch where children are in it or even grown adults who did not get into acting because they wanted to, but it's because their parents wanted them to and they also needed the financial stability to. Stars, especially female celebrities, having mental breakdowns or going crazy is nothing new and it's a lot of times exploited for entertainment. You can think of Britney Spears, Lindsay Lohan, and I think that it's happened so many times at this point that celebrities who are now old enough to be having kids of their own are realizing how severely their own children need to be protected. For example, Kim Kardashian's kids are apparently not allowed on Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Gigi Hadid hiding the face of her child. Nicki Minaj, Beyonce hiding the identity of their children, not choosing to exploit them. Think of what you want about these new age celebrities and can have your own opinions, but do I think that they're very smart for realizing the effects of putting their children in the spotlight and knowing that that is not something that they should be doing until that child is able to consent or, you know, expresses that they want that for themselves personally? Yeah, I think they're being awesome moms for it. So, because a good percentage of child stars never even had their own choice because a good percentage of child stars did not even get to make their own choice on whether or not they were going to be famous. Which then leads me into social media famous kids. Do I think that children should be exploited on the internet? Hard no. Do I think that mommy vloggers showing their kids are a good idea? No, I don't think it's a good idea. Do I think that it is a dangerous world out there where showing videos of your kids milestones every step of the way vlogging it making them have a social media footprint without them even having the knowledge or ability to consent do i think that is fair or moral no i don't think it's any of the above i think a family is like the lebrant family the ace family and i think to myself those kids will have issues in the future maybe that's not the nicest way of putting it but do I think it's healthy or right to have all of these major moments of your child's life out on the internet and they, they just get no say into it? Yeah, it fucking sucks. I'm so grateful that I'm now the age of 22 and I choose that I want to be on the internet and my mom didn't choose when I was like eight years old whether or not I was going to be online. Those are my formative years and I'm happy that they are private and not recorded. And now families like the LeBrant family, Ace family, however fucking many families there are online, I think they're doing the same thing that has happened to Jeanette in just a different way. Living the parents' dream through their children of being internet celebrities. And these kids in the future will have deeper issues, unfortunately. Because now the parents are like, Deb McCurdy and the creator, Dan Schneider, um, it's a little bit different because although there's not a producer, you know, when you're a family channel online, there is millions of watchers and commenters and people who are able to take pictures of you and then put them on weird Reddit pages and make whole forums about you. Instead of having just one creator and it being Dan Schneider, there's just millions of them. We're going to face and see some serious repercussions to this in the future if we haven't started to already. And I don't even know if that's Jeanette McCurdy's intention behind the book to open up those questions, but she certainly did do it. I'm so incredibly excited for her future writing and her future books because this was incredible and amazing. The main themes of going through an eating disorder, mental health issues, OCD, having a parent die, guilt, celebrity life. And she's so incredibly honest throughout it all. I just want to recommend this book to everyone. It made me think a lot about myself and maybe how I need to get myself some more help and work through some of my own issues. But it's also made me think about the future 
of our children. Who would have thought that Nicole Raffi would be caring so much for the children considering children are one of my biggest fears, but I do indeed care because I am very, very worried and concerned. I was worried about the backlash that she would face for, you know, calling the book, I'm glad my mom died, but so far everything that I've seen has been very positive because I think a lot of people have understood her and have also been in similar situations as her and also realized that she's using humor behind it. And truly, if her mom didn't die, then I wouldn't be able to make this video. So I'm also grateful, I'm just kidding. But it also made me reflect on the fact that when someone dies, and they may not be such a good person and they may have caused a lot of hurt and suffering and pain to others. When they pass away, they don't suddenly become a good person. They don't suddenly become a saint. You can be a bad person and die. And still be a bad person after you die. So, and my final words about Jeanette McCurdy, I'm going to plagiarize the tweet. This woman does deserve a Pulitzer Prize for the ability to making Gen Z read. So, it's incredible. It's true. Jeanette McCurdy did teach me how to read. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please make sure that you leave this video a like because I was me out so much. Also, make sure that you leave a comment on any books that you recommend, what you thought about Jeanette McCurdy's book, and also what you think about the future of our children if you have any solutions for, you know, child stars without, you know, incinerating them all because we can't do that. But like, how do we... How do we make things better, you know? Make sure that you subscribe if you want to be nasty. If not, you're disgusting. Also, make sure you have your bell notifications on so you know every single time I post or else you are gross. If you want to follow me on my other social media, Instagram, Twitter, Depop, Spotify, it's just at Nicole Raffi. And if you want to follow me on my TikTok, it's at Nikki Nasty. I'm going to go now. I have to call my mom just to tell her. No fucking way. I was just talking about you. Really? Yeah. I'm reading this book and it's called I'm glad my mom died and so I was saying that I have to call you to tell you that this video is not about you it's about someone anyway no that's the name of the book mom okay someone else's mom